I never make the same mistake twice. I make it like five or six times, you know, just to be sure. Good morning, happy people. I almost never have my hair down, almost never. I need a haircut so badly. I bet y'all didn't know I had curls like this, huh? Pretty curly. You'd never know it <laughs> every day. This is a disaster, don't worry. That's going to be going on momentarily. <laughs> Guys, see what feeling bad and sick does for you all week? It gets you loopy at the end. <laughs> Let's go over there and see what's cooking over at Creation Station. Well, of course I'm going to make the soap that I need a slab mold for the day before I get the slab molds in. Oh man, I'm telling you, timing is everything. <laughs> All right, let's take a looky loo at what we got here. This is from Workshop Heritage. What did I say in the video yesterday? I said Heritage Workshop, whatever. You guys know what I mean. Um, I ordered two slab molds, block molds, whatever it is you wanna say. Okay, there's my invoice. And then I got a little teeny bit of some green mica and it feels like there's a micro scoop in there too. Coolio. I like this so far. Nice, big, thick bubble wrapping. But, ooh. Ah, I mean, this isn't a huge slab mold by any stretch, you guys. You know what I mean? It's a smaller one. But this should produce three logs. Ugh, let me put this here. I'll just leave the other one in there just because it's the same exact thing. So we'll take a look at one. Ooh, well, so, so far, oh my God, the thickness of this, this wood, that's, that's nice and it's smooth, nice and smooth, but boy, look at that. Look at how thick this is. That, that was an expense on their part for that thick of wood. Very nice, but that's a nice lid on there. And then here's the mold itself. And it's got some instructions for the care of your mold as well as your liner. Um, I chose not to get it, uh, what's the deal that they say? Finished. I chose not to get it finished. It's not necessary for me. I'm not going to spend another $20 just to have that happen. But um, let's look at this. I've never, I've never even seen one of these molds, but this is cool. It's got handles on each side. So when you're done making your soap, you can easily lift that up and go and carry that to wherever you need to. I like that. And then it also has this nice feature. This panel comes out, which helps you to remove your liner with your soap in it. Um, easy. Wow, okay, nice. I got two of those babies. Okay, this is nice and thick and sturdy. I'm very impressed. Wow, if only this had come in a day earlier. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to make ourselves some soap like you wouldn't believe out of these suckers. Okay, you guys, stick with me just for a second, and we're going to make some soap in here. Okay, friends, we are going to take this uh, workshop heritage mold for its maiden voyage. I gave it a quick little soapy rinse, and that's ready to go. Everything else is ready to go. We're going to be doing uh, lemongrass with orange peel today. So in here I have... 
I look at my notes. I have 40% lemongrass, 40% sweet orange, and 20% of Litzia Cubiva. I also have mixed in here some orange peel powder as well as some kale and clay. So that's ready to go. Off to the side in some really, really hot water, I have dispersed some of my yellow number five FDC dye. And then on the top, we're going to sprinkle some orange peel on the top of there, okay? So let me do one more check. Everybody's a little, little hot today. It's way hotter than I would like it to be, but I'm impatient. It's really late in the day. As you guys can see, there's lines all over my table. That's from the blinds. I had to close the blinds because it's late in the day and the sun shines right down here. So even with the blinds open, it's, it's terrible. So <laughs> out of necessity, this is still at like 120. I would really like it to be a lot cooler than that. And we're at 114 with the lye solution. Let's put these on. And we're just gonna get this out of the way today. Just trying to take this for a test run because we just got it in and I've been waiting for it. I wish it would have came in yesterday. That would have been helpful. Uh, Life solution into the pool. So the molds that I got are 10 and a half by 10. My soap bars are three and a half by two and a half, and then I cut them one inch thick. So this mold is going to produce, let me just get this out of the way for a second. This mold is going to produce three logs, one, two, three, and each one is gonna be three and a half inches wide by 10 inches long. And I'm gonna fill this up enough so that it'll be two and a half inches tall, okay? So let's get to burp in the stick blender here. Here we go, let's give it a buzz. By the way, this is the same recipe. I just had to adjust the amounts, obviously, because this is a new mold. Um, so, but it's the same recipe that I use um, and it's linked down below. Gonna be careful not to over stick blend this because I'm soaping a little bit warmer than normal. I definitely don't want to prematurely speed up the trace, but I do have to make sure I get to at least emulsion. So yeah, every single soap that I have made in the past couple of weeks, with the exception of that gardener's bar that I just did yesterday, every soap I have been incorporating a lot, a lot, a lot of clay and I'm loving it. All right, let's take a looky-loo, see if anybody's gonna separate. Looks like everybody's good. Yep, everybody's good. I usually do not film this late in the day, but I was so excited when I got these molds. Do you know that I actually went over to my house to get them? <laughs> Thankfully, the facility is only seven minutes away from my front door, but um, I got the notification that the molds were in, and so I called Mr. Soap Chef because um, he is still working from home. I said, I'm coming home. And I got a notification that my molds are there. So I did. I went home and I got them. All right, let's get our color into here. Um, this is, what am I using here? Yellow number five dye. Did I already say that? You guys, I'm losing my marbles, I'm telling you. I'm still not back on my game yet. Anyways, let's just get that in there. Ooh, I mix that with um, really, really, really hot water. I mean, really hot, it was like boiling. And I do that with my dyes just to kind of help with the little teeny dots, you know? And it doesn't matter because I always get them, whenever I use dye in my soap, I always get the little dots. I don't get them in my bath bombs, but I always get them in my soap, no matter what. I could use cold water, dots. Warm water, dots. Boiling hot water, dots. It doesn't matter what I do, I'm getting dots. All right, let's get our slurry into the mix here and then we'll get that into the mold we'll do a light little texture up on the top 
sprinkle it with some of those orange peels and call it a day. And then we're gonna come back tomorrow and get this out of this mold. All right, looking good, looking good, looking good. Just trying to scrape the bottom, make sure I'm getting all the color mixed in. Sometimes you can see kind of little floaties here. That's the orange peel powder. Because it is finely ground, but sometimes you will get a little chunk, a little, little piece here or there. It's no big deal. All right, let's get you right into our brand new mold here, shall we? And hopefully my calculations were correct. Looks like there's a little bit more, actually. So not quite correct. There's a couple of different ways you guys can do that. And there's a lot of different tutorials up on the interwebs and a lot of different sites that will tell you how to figure out the volume of your mold. A couple of different ways. You can just put your mold up on top of your scale and uh, put some water or whatever, what other type of liquid, whatever, it doesn't matter. You guys, you guys get it. Put liquid in the mold and weigh it that way up until, you know, like I put a little line right where I needed it to be. So I did do it that way. But I can tell you this too. Also, when you measure all of your sides and then divide it by four, um, that's a good way of measuring and figuring out your volume as well. This, I can already tell that this is too full. This is going to be, um, so my bars are going to be way taller than two and a half inches taller. That's okay. I can shave off part of the bottom of each one of these and use those as little sliver samples. My customers will like that. I'm just trying to clean up here as I go. This is garbage, dirty dishes. There's my orange peel. Now let's see if this is, it's not quite set up enough. It's pretty runny. So I'm going to turn off the camera and let this sit up a little bit because then I'm going to do some texturing on the top, okay? So bear with me. We'll be right back. And I'm so sorry about this big old light ring in here. <laughs> this wouldn't happen if it was early morning. Anyways, hang on, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, you guys, this is set up enough for me to do a little bit of texturing. I moved the mold so that this ring light isn't shining right on the soap. Hopefully, you guys are going to be able to see this a little bit better, but we're just going to do a quick little texture over here. Uh, let me get a paper towel. So now that's going to be the one log, and then we're going to come over here because it's going to split it right here. So we're going to do this one. And one more. take a little spoon and we go in between each one of those just a little bit And now we're going to come in here with our orange peel. We're just going to give a slight little sprinkle down this side. These are really finely ground orange peel. Uh, you know, I usually do um, really big chunks, but that tends to be rather hard to slice through with the multi cutter. I always have to put it on its side, obviously, to do that, to get it to cut. But then I wind up losing a bunch of them. I like the look of that better, but this is more practical. 
All right, that's good enough. I'm just gonna give you a spritzy spritz. Very excited about this new mold here. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's see if I can bring you in for a close up. And that's a little too close. And that light ring is just shining right down on us. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it back down here. <laughs> oh gosh. Never film in the late afternoon. I, I've, <laughs> I found that out a long time ago. Do not film in the afternoon because that light just beats right down on this table and ugh, ugh, it's just a mess. Anyways, enough of that kind of stuff. Tomorrow, I am going to come back, unmold and cut this, and we'll show you what it looks like on the inside. And for you guys, it's just going to be a couple of seconds, so stay tuned. Okay, friends, it is the next day. We're going to go ahead and unmold our lemongrass with orange peel. Still a little bit soft. Not too bad. Hopefully, we won't have a problem. So this comes right out to help you remove your soap. Try to figure out what the easiest way to do that is. Maybe just push up from the bottom. I don't know. This, this whole new mold thing is new to me. All right. I always try to be really like gentle with my liners, you know, because I don't want to rip them. And I can already see, like, I, I, this is the first time I've used this. There's like, um, there's not a lot of the silicone here in the corners of, of the mold, the liner itself. And so I really don't want to rip that. All right, we're out. Let's put you over here for a second. I've had this for 20 years, you guys. <laughs> yes, I have. So basically, we're just going to run this through. This wire is three and a half inches tall from the bottom here. Actually, let me um, tighten that just a little bit. Hopefully, I won't snap it. Yeah, so anyways, from the bottom up to the top of the wire is three and a half, which is what I want each one of these logs to be. So we're just going to take this and we're going to run it through here. And there's one log. All right, now we can get rid of that piece. All right, let's take a look at one of these now. Looks nice. And I'm not even seeing any orange spots, so that proved me a liar. Okay, perfect. All right, let's get this big old beast in here. All right, let's do this guy. is what it looks like on the inside. Very nice. No, no big deal. It's just an orange soap. It's lemongrass with orange peel. Okay, let's take one out over here. Sometimes you can get little pieces of the orange peel powder that wasn't dissolved all the way. It's not a big deal. It's just a cosmetic thing. It's not gonna do anything to the soap. See, like there's little pieces. But other than that, looks good, smells good. All right, what do you guys think of uh, that mold? Pretty snazzy, huh? So 
that's exactly what I needed it to do, produce three different logs. So now this one is going to give me a total of 30 bars as opposed to doing the soap in the two log molds, which will give me 36. So I'm shy six soaps when I do it this way, but the block molds are going to uh, enable me to be able to do other designs that are fairly difficult to do in a log mold. So I'm happy with it, no problems. I'm gonna take a look at this liner though. I'm gonna wash that up and I'm gonna take a look at the corners of that and if I have to contact uh, Workshop Heritage, then I will, because I just don't want it to rip, you know? So that is going to do it for today's video, you guys. Uh, I have a lot coming up this weekend. I've got two events back to back. Um, really got to get prepared for that since I haven't been feeling well all week long. I really need my energy for these two. And then I think next week we have one too. And then that's it. Then we're going on vacation for two glorious weeks. I cannot wait. But uh, stay tuned. We're going to be doing a different series of videos. I'm going to try to do one at least once a month if I can. I can't promise what time of the month. I'll try to do it in the beginning of the month, but uh, we're, we're, stay tuned for that. We're, we're gearing up for that. All right, you guys. We'll see you. Okay. Be kind. Stay humble, and we'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves.